And the complex of fires in wine country known as the Glass Fire. This is named after Glass Mountain in St. Helena off the Silverado Trail. Now, the clock is ticking. Crews are racing to save homes, as Jeff just mentioned, before the winds pick up again in a couple of days, as early as tomorrow. Black Hawk military helicopters dumping water in nearby communities. You can see it there, including Angwin. Now, a red flag warning has been issued for tomorrow, and more evacuation orders have been issued as well. People being told to get out before it's too late. Among the many fires, the small fires here in this complex, this one east of Calistoga, we are now on day four of this firefight, and so far there are no signs of the flames slowing down. New video in our newsroom shows the plumes of smoke and flames from above. You can see there that vantage point. This is in the Palisades in Napa County near Robert Lewis and Lewis Stevenson State Park, RLS State Park. So far, flames have burned nearly 50,000 acres. Right now, it's 2% containment, but that number could go up. Again, we're listening to that CAL FIRE update. 115 homes and businesses have been destroyed as of now. CAL FIRE is going to hold that briefing. Our producers are listening in. We're also getting new information from the fire lines. Let's bring in NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez in Napa County for us. This fire has already been so devastating. Foothills Elementary School is one of the many casualties. And with the wind expected to kick back in over the next several days, many worry the worst hasn't even hit yet. It's a full on battle as firefighters try to make some ground on the glass fire before dangerous fire conditions ramp up. Tomorrow, the weather gets hostile again with potential Diablo winds and uh, the low humidities. So, we're employing every tool available to us. We've got helicopters, bulldozers, firefighters, and crews are building line at, at breakneck speed. There's a ton at stake. Communities like Angwin could be smack in the path of the fire if the winds shift the way firefighters forecast it might. I just don't want to leave. Everything's here. Though their town has been ordered to evacuate, neighbors Ron Priest and Colin Wright aren't leaving. The longtime Angwin residents say they feel it's best to stay put as long as possible. It's not really something you can put to words. Yeah. It's more of a feeling. You're just going with your gut, and uh, it's not the first rodeo for us. So we're just kind of, you know, take it day by day, hour by hour, and what comes, comes. The fire has already destroyed homes and businesses just down the hill, including Foothills Elementary, where Ron Priest's wife works. It's a community place. It's, you know, served a lot of people over, it's got a history, a hundred and some year history there. So oh it's hurting a lot of people right now. Firefighters are busy bulldozing lines from Angwin to Pope Valley as the National Guard Blackhawks continue pounding it from above. Folks who live in the danger zone hope their efforts keep them safe. The wind's going to shift, so it, it's going to come back on us. So what we're seeing out there is they're, they're <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not out of the woods, you know. And you're looking at some of the devastation this fire has already caused. Folks here hope there won't be much more as they wait for the red flag weather to return. In Napa Valley, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.